Welcome, fellow brethren from all around the world. It is Rhapsody time, reality time. And today we'll be talking about a message titled, One Bread and One Body. Have you ever wondered how the bread was related with the body? Let's take a look at our theme scripture from the book of John chapter 6 verse 31, which reads, Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. What we read in our theme verse was the Lord Jesus addressing the Jews. In verses 32 to 33, he continued, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. Then in the 49th verse, he further emphasized his point. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness, and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. Jesus is the living bread, the bread which came down from heaven. Glory! He explained this to his disciples in John chapter 6 verse 51 saying, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. And you can see this from John chapter 6 verse 51. Then the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 17 explains how this connects to us. He said, For we being many are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. If we're one bread with Him, it therefore means we have the same life because we're born of the Word. And you see this from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. Just as He is the Word made flesh in John chapter 1, verse 14. Colossians chapter 1 verse 18 says, And He, Christ, is the head of the body, the church. The head and the body share the same life. If we share His life, then we also share His health, prosperity, strength and glory. Hallelujah! No wonder He calls us partakers of the divine nature, associates of the God kind. 1 John chapter 4 verse 17 says, As He is, so are we in this world. Glory! You are of the same stock with Christ. Therefore, walk as He walked in glory, righteousness, strength, and dominion. Hallelujah! Wow! Glory, glory, glory! This is the reality of who you are. As the body of Christ, we share the same life and nature as the Lord Jesus Christ. And this was His dream from the beginning. Blessed be God! Now wherever you are, you can stand up and proclaim this confession after me. Blessed be God! I am one with the Lord because I'm born of His living and eternal Word. My ancestry is divine. I am indomitable and live above the elements of this world. I reign and rule gloriously in the realm of life. Through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! Right here we have some powerful scriptures for you to study and meditate on in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 and 1 John chapter 4 verse 17. Blessed be God! Are you refreshed, uplifted, glowing with the Spirit of God? Then don't just stop at today's article. Subscribe to our channel to get daily messages like this and you may even download your own copy of the Rhapsody of Realities from the link in our description. Think this is too good to keep quiet about? We think so too. Share our videos to your friends, family and loved ones. Tell them about how they can grow spiritually with this daily devotional and get them to share it with others. Hallelujah! The gospel will continue Continue to be preached in all the nations of the world and be glorified as you partner with us. So we will see you again tomorrow. Be blessed and be a blessing. We trust 
you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.